now we're going to add a component, show you how to move those components, and put them to scale, and also then take a finished picture in JPEG. So to add a component, go to Windows, Components, and then right here you can type in whatever you're looking for. Uh, it'll take from the library that Google has put together with everything that people have submitted. So I want to do a basketball hoop. So I've typed in basketball hoop and you can choose whichever one you'd like. I'm going to go with this top one. You can see it shows up right there. So I want to put it on that side of my driveway, but I'm going to want to rotate. So I'm going to use my rotate tool, which is looks like two arrows going around in a circle. Click that. Now the rotate tool you can see as you move it around, it change colors. And that depends on the axis that you want it to go on. So I want it to spin on the blue axis. So I'm going to put it underneath, make sure that my component is highlighted. I'm going to click it once and then click again and you can see I can start rotating it. I can go whichever way. Now since it's a basketball hoop I want it to face the driveway. Alright, let's rotate it around. Well, it's angled kind of funny. I want to straighten that out. Now, you got to remember the more components you add, the slower your computer is going to work. So sometimes just give it a second. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright. So, I've got my, my basketball hoop. I've got my yard set up. My car. Now let's take a final picture. All right, you want to rotate it, your house to. It will. What it'll do is it'll take a screenshot. So it'll take a 2D screenshot. So we want it to be as tight as you can. When taking a picture, go to File, Export. 2D graphic, title it correctly, and make sure this export type is on JPEG. Go ahead and click export, put it in the right folder, click export, 